All right, today's video, accessory wattage guide for people interested in living in their van down by the river. There are different power sources you could bring with you, multiple power sources if you want. You could run solar panels. The most popular solar panel kit I found was a Harbor Freight kit. 45 watts, $150. Solar is still really expensive. Hopefully someday it goes down in price. This setup is a marine battery and power inverter. $100 for the battery, like $60 for the inverter, 750 watts, uh, like 1500 peak for like a millisecond. I think it peaks at 1500 as a protection, as a safety, but 750 continuous. Then you got generators. I've seen them as low as 800 watts all the way up to like 6,000, I believe. So, you know, you got some options. Bring all three have all kinds of power with you. Uh, solar panel seems like the weakest option. I think this is middle of the road run a battery. Generator is the way to go. I think. Got to run a good one though. The cheap generators suck. I was going to run a cheap generator but they're crappy man. So let's go ahead and see how many watts popular accessories drain. This inverter tells you how many watts you're running so that's really cool. So give you guys an idea, like if you're really interested in living in your van down by the river. Okay, if you want to run a hair dryer, I'm afraid to say you're out of luck. It peaked right at 776. I believe this one's a 750 watt or something. Check it out. Watch it fail. Yeah, can't do it. See, 782. This inverter is too weak for a hair dryer. So you're going to have to dry your hair old school without a hair dryer. Okay, after you dry your hair old school with a towel, you still have to look good, like when you invite someone to your van. So you got to run a straightening iron. So let's go ahead and power this thing up, turn it on. Okay, 131 watts, 294, 291. Okay, you could run a hair straightener. Like I said, you're going to have to dry your hair old school with a towel or something or with the sun. But yeah, you could still use a hair straightener. So that's a, that's a great news for people with long, sexy hair. 280 watts. This is a full power on the hair straightener. Okay, up next is a power drill. If you want to like build something and you want to plug in a power drill, let's go ahead and see. Alright. Only about 120 watts for a power drill. So, not too shabby. Okay, what really makes living in a van doable these days is the fact Wi-Fi is everywhere, so you can go on the internet everywhere now. So, laptop, 90 watts, plugged in. What happens if I turn it off, though? Let's see how much it takes, like, when I'm charging it. I'm shutting down the computer right now. Okay, it's still 90. Let's see what happens when it turns off. Okay, shutting down right now. Still shutting down. Ah, oh, crap. Has to install updates. Okay, when the updates are installed, I'll see how much power it draws like just charging. Okay, I'll go back to the computer later. Okay, next up is a refrigerator up there. This one's going to surge to like 450 watts and then it's going to level down to like 110 I believe. Sometimes this kills the inverter, but there you go, two. There's a surge right there. There you go, now it's leveling off to like 100. So not too bad with the refrigerator. Here's the thing, even though it's like 100 watts, like these right here, the ones that plug into your cigarette lighter, these little plugs, 
they take 100 watts, like they put out 100 watts, even though the fridge is putting out 91, this thing won't run the fridge just because it surges. Surges to like 400 watts when you first plug it in. Watch. Okay. See, like, it takes some power to start up the compressor. See? 391. Almost 400 watts at startup. Uh, this inverter I have on the door, that's a 400 watt inverter, 410. I just have it there just in case this one breaks on me. But, uh, yeah, see? See how it's starting at like 300 watts? Like I said, it's going to go down back to 100 once the compressor gets rolling. But, yeah, something like this isn't going to run a little fridge. Okay, now we're running the Xbox 360 and a 19-inch flat screen. That's 119 watts, which is good. Low power consumption. And you got to have the entertainment with you. That's very important. If you live in your van down by the river, you don't want to go crazy with boredom. Okay, we're back to the laptop. This is just the laptop charging. And it's... 52 watts, that's the neighbor's foo-foo dog. Always barking, man. I don't know if they play with their dog enough. If you have a dog, play with your dog. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 52 watts for a charging laptop. So this thing's up to the task of charging a laptop. So yeah, as, as you can see, like, nothing's really 40 watts. So, I don't know, solar panels, probably not going to do a very good job, especially if you get like a 40 watt solar panel for $150. I don't know, I just don't think you're getting your money's worth with a solar panel. Like maybe get one to keep your battery charged like when you're not running anything. Maybe a good idea to have solar panels, but yeah, the technology's not there right now. So yeah, there you go. Laptop, 50 watts. You could use one of these even. Okay, last up, standard battery charger. Keep your Xbox 360 controller juiced up. It's not even drawing a watt. There it is working. So there you go. If you got a solar panel, it could do something. Charge some batteries. So hopefully this video gives you guys an idea how much power you need to bring with you if you want to live in your van down by the river. Alright everyone. Kick ass, be safe, and take it easy.